Hello everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com and let's talk about XCOM Chimera Squad. Now, I love the XCOM games. Full disclosure, I really enjoy all of them. I was excited to see more of them. I also have a soft spot when it comes to the idea of sort of crime noir or the crime genre. So XCOM mixed with crime fighting is basically my bread and butter. I love this game. I was really nervous at first, especially like with the cutscenes you can see here. I thought, hang on a minute, cell shaded. I mean, they are voice acted and the voice acting is very good. I won't pop it up here because of course you get hit straight away with a claim, but really, really good. I really like the voice acting and I think that the cell shading works. The game itself as well immediately makes you think, oh no, this is completely different. This isn't XCOM. But straight away, you're into that XCOM gameplay and it's it's so fun. I can't recommend this enough. Honestly, it's been an absolute joy to play. Getting down to the game itself, you get introduced to this new thing called breaching, where you're breaching into a room. And this was the moment where I thought, oh no, is this like a mobile game? But it's not. It's a really nice, enjoyable mechanic that fits really nicely within the XCOM universe, where you breach into a room, you have that initial shot against people who are surprised, or you have to defend yourself against those that were expecting you to breach. A really, really fun way to start the rooms. I had a blast with this. And then it goes back to that standard, normal XCOM gameplay of that turn-based combat. It's, it's just, it's really fun. It does things really, really well. I think the great thing about XCOM is it kind of grows with each iteration. I was a little bit nervous that maybe this would be a case of just wallowing in what they'd done before. But instead it's not. It has this really nice plot to it, it's got this really nice noir feel, and it still utilises the old gameplay, but now there's an emphasis on, for example, capturing criminals, so that you can kind of have that ability to be like a crime fighting squad that's gaining that intelligence on the enemy. It's really, really fun. Had an absolute blast with it. Likewise, they haven't really spared any expense when it comes to the story of the characters themselves. There's a lot of information to digest when you're, for example, hiring new squad members, and they fit nicely into the squad. Characters interact with one another, and that's really, really nice. Likewise, their backgrounds, there's clearly a lot of thought that's got into that, and you feel really attached to your squad mates because of that. They've got unique personalities as well in the way they speak, and it's not like XCOM normally where you can recruit between, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of different squad members. There are a select number, but choosing each one means that, you know, you've got a unique story for your squad, but it fits in nicely to the universe and they can be addressed directly. The actual game itself is really fun when it comes to those mechanics that we used to have when it comes to building up bases, but now it's a case of choosing where your squad's going to go, your field agents, your equipment, your loadouts, your promotions, and also your investigations, so you're keeping track of what you've discovered during your investigations. It's a nice way to bring across the idea of the XCOM gameplay into a new generation, and I really enjoyed that. Likewise, it gets more and more difficult as the game progresses, there's a lot more to comprehend as the game goes on. And that's really nice. I really enjoyed that kind of growth. It doesn't feel like it sticks at one level. That progression makes there an important reason to grow. Same thing happens with the breach mechanic. At the start, you're just breaching through maybe a door, maybe there's a window, but later on you get multiple options and each one has a negative or a positive effect based on where you're going. For example, if someone jumps through the window, maybe they're gonna be able to surprise enemies on the right-hand side and get that nice flank, but also, they might be able to move an extra two squares on their first turn. If they come through the front door, for example, maybe people were expecting that, so you might end up getting shot, or you might lose a little bit of defense. But you can bring in items and do different breaches as well later on in the game. So say, for example, if you think, well, I better have my team equipped with breaching charges or a hacking key card that lets me through security doors, it means you can get your edge on the opponents and just really devastate an enemy squad. And it feels so satisfying to come through there like a SWAT team. Likewise, it feels so satisfying to have the abilities that used to be annoying in the old XCOM games and wield them yourself from the get-go. Those mind control abilities are fantastic to use. And it feels great within the setting. The missions themselves are very similar to the original missions. And just having that nice prime feel to it, it's lovely. It really leans into those tropes. And it just feels great. I mean, you can play as a snake person. What, what more do you want? It's just, it's just great. There are things I could moan about. I think, for example, soul fire, the ability, that can go and die in a ditch because I hate it. Um, there are certain things that, you know, they need a bit of polishing. People still do clip through walls, for example. If you shoot someone off a balcony, they, their body will hover rather than fall. There's a couple of little things like that. And I, I'd need them sort of addressed with maybe a patch in the near future. But honestly, really, really fun for a 
of XCOM going into something I love. If you like XCOM and you like turn-based combat, but you also like that crime genre, you're going to love this. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you again very soon.